So very few, very lucky people are those who discriminate. I have to discover freedom today or this year or this life. So all those who are here, they have come up with the decision. There are small children here, young boys here, young girls here, some on the average of 60s or 70s are also here. But all are welcome. Now someone is calling them. Someone is calling them and he needs to see a person who is beautiful, you see. Don't have a speck of darkness in him. Then he will be elected, selected, chosen. And it's not difficult for those who have decided to be free today, now itself. When it doesn't cost anything, no problem, no hardship, why to postpone it? So it is the trick of the mind to deceive the tricky persons. As I read the letter, going to this person and that person, this Siddha, that Siddha, it means they need to be cheated. Therefore, such gurus are born to help those people to send them to hell. So this is your choice, you see. This is your choice because in the world there may be all false gurus who are going to deceive you. Everywhere you go, you have to follow my instructions. You have to follow, you have to say, this is what I tell you to do. So these commandments are always there, you see. But the true Guru is one who doesn't give you any command, anything to do, anything to follow even. He gives you rest. Already you are burdened for the last millions of years. You have burden of ego, of ego, so the teacher has to remove this burden from you. Why should you, why should he load you with other burden of ego, you see? Instead of this, you wear this kind of cloth. You came with the white cloth. Now the Guru imposes on you, you have to wear, wear orange cloth, you see. So the shade, the color has got nothing to do with your beauty, understanding, wisdom. The color cannot change. You have to remove all the colors of your mind. And that's not done. When you remove all that the color has, mind always needs some color, you see. So do not listen to the mind. You better do away with the mind and you can stay better without the mind, you see. And that you have to learn here, how to be without the mind. Here, and you can do it instantly by not thinking, because mind is a thought itself. So when you think, the mind is playing. You are not free. Don't stir up. Don't give rise to any thought. And do not make any effort also to stop it. And then you are there. So simple. To be happy is so simple than to be unhappy. <laughs> You always go, you always work, you always get up to find out thing that is missing in you. More precious than the feet of the awakened one. That's why you rejected this feet and go to some other person. So you have interest with the other person and not with peace. So this is going to be the answer of your next line, but but you I go on commenting on what you write. So if you want to sit at the feet of awakened one means in love and peace, why should you get up at all? It means when you came 
to him you had already tied with some other object with a rope so you were not there you were not there at all you had in mind after this i will go to this person therefore you didn't sit at all as the river merges into the ocean it traveled long time day and night from the hills now it is meeting the ocean it met it sat on the feet of the ocean merged one now this river will it decide again to return back from the ocean is it possible is this river can be seen as a river in the ocean his identity of the river hood is totally dissolved and it has become now ocean it can't do it can't go so these stories are not going to help you must be honest to yourself at least i can feel a taste of freedom yes i agree you feel the taste of freedom when you are in peace you feel the taste of peace and when peace is there you are empty of any other desire to get up and go somewhere else this is total annihilation of the desire from the beginning of the creation this is going to happen would you please tell me how can i feel it in a just normal situation how can i keep quiet on the market place turn towards the source if you remain at the source you can go in any market place it's not going to disturb you but first to find out which is a place of peace if you have known it then it cannot be disturbed remain in the source of peace and go into the market place it will not trouble you market place is not going to trouble you any circumstances are not going to trouble you but you stay in the source which is the feet of the enlightenment and ecstasy and love if you do it if you have this taste surely you will not go anywhere taste it now keep quiet just for a fraction of a second taste it that taste is not coming you see there is a taste from others not your own taste own taste is keep quiet for a while taste this quietness